Hey, what is up guys? It's Kevin back in with a quick new video just showing you what I've been doing and what I've been working on. Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different. And I just feel like I need to talk about this because it's everywhere. Everybody is freaking out over the coronavirus. So, if you don't know what the coronavirus is, you've probably been asleep for the past month. But uh, to kind of sum it up, the coronavirus is more like a mutated strand of the flu. And it affects people that already have bad immune sy uh, systems. You know, you can get it, um, but it's it's basically like you get a fever for a day or two, you feel bad, sometimes you have a hard time breathing, but basically get over it in a day or two, right? So, <clears throat> it affects people that have a bad immune system, like somebody going through chemotherapy, somebody with diabetes, somebody with, you know, underlying issues, right? And yeah, it can possibly kill you, but everybody's freaking out about it. So, I look at it this way. If you have a bad immune system, and you get a cold, or you get the flu, your immune system can't fight it, so you wind up getting pneumonia, and you wind up possibly dying. So, it's basically the same thing as, as um, coronavirus. But, what's, what's kind of freaking me out right now is... How the media is handling this now i watch media mostly right now i watch fox news and i watch uh, cnn you know kind of get both sides on it now after this video i want you to go to <clears throat> just type in cnn go to their channel and just look at their videos every single one of their videos is about coronavirus which yes everybody should be informed but the media now is kind of weaponizing it. They're using it as kind of like a scare tactic. I mean, it's so bad that people are, you know, uh, doing crazy shit. They're going to the store and buying up, like, boatloads of fucking toilet paper and shit, which I don't even understand that because diarrhea isn't a part of the coronavirus. But, <clears throat> yeah, I went to um, Walmart yesterday. There was no bread. There was no tissues. There was no toilet paper. I see people on fucking Facebook selling hand sanitizer for like 50 fucking dollars. Like, I don't know who said it, but it, it's so fucking true that a person can be smart, but people are dumb. And like I said, the, the, the media is just shoving it down everybody's throat and everybody's freaking out about it, which I believe now... I know it's under 100. I, I believe it's like 50-something people have died from this. And it's mostly elderly people because they say that kids and stuff um, really don't get it. And if they do get it, they're like asymptomatic, which means they'll have it, but they won't feel bad. And another thing, that, you know, like I said, because of this whole scare tactic on, on <clears throat> the news and stuff, and when you go to CNN... Watch one of those videos, and every single video that they're talking about the coronavirus, they're using it to make a political statement. Like, they won't make a video without saying, well, this is somehow Trump's fault. It's it's really weird how they're doing it, but, um, you know, like, they're just putting everybody into a panic. You know, the NBA, the NBA uh, I guess, canceled their season um, E3 gaming event, they canceled that, uh, they're canceling all this shit, which is impacting everybody, because think about it, those, those vendors, and, and those ushers, and all those people that, let's say, work for the NBA, or, you know, was gonna work at, uh, E3 or whatever, those people are going without a paycheck over the fucking flu, it just doesn't make any sense and another thing is uh, a lot of schools and actually my daughter's school cancel classes and they don't know how long they're going to cancel them for so if you are a let's say you got a 10 year old kid and they cancel classes so your kid's going to be at home but you have to work so that means you've got to either take off work or you got to scrounge up some money to, to pay a babysitter. It, it doesn't make any sense why people are freaking out about this so fucking badly. Um, and I'm just tired of hearing it. I, I'm, I'm really, 
tired of watching the news. I'm tired of everybody making this shit so political. It's the fucking flu. That's all it is. It's the fucking flu. So, I don't know. As you can see, it, it really, really fucking irritates me um, that they're altering our economy. They're altering... In, in The reason that they keep bringing up Trump when they talk about it is because they see that it's hurting him and it's hurting the economy. They're only thinking about a political agenda. Now, if you get a Fox News, yeah, Fox News actually talks about it. And, you know, Fox News is going to kiss Trump's ass no matter what. But they're giving more of the facts and not making it so political. Give people the facts. Don't make it political. Let's get on with it. Uh, you know, they're they're acting like everybody has fucking Ebola or something. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of my fucking rant, dude. This... It, it's gotten out of hand, and it's just stupid, and now so many people are suffering. Our country is suffering over, basically, the flu. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so I think I've raged for enough. Now, I did get the uh, got the Civic fixed, and it runs and drives great. I was going to paint it today, but as you can see, it's raining, so I'll probably do that tomorrow, and then I'll make a video and show you guys how it came up. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'll talk to you later.